my people I think uh, is of essence to to live in a community where there's respect for labor and duty of whatever anybody does. Even if you are a shoemaker, you must be given respect. Whether you are a wheelbarrow pusher, a bricklayer, a carpenter, a coffee maker, a musician, an artist, a vulcanizer, a welder, whatever you may be, your duty must be respected. Society where they celebrate truancy, hooliganism, ritual killing, toggery, arson, robbery, unnecessary killing and causing mayhem cannot progress. Because bad money will drive out good. Adam Smith said so many years ago. It is not wrong. Because evil money cannot speak in public. People want to clean it up. If you do drugs, you can't come in public and want to say, you made your money from selling drugs. Because in that case, you love destroys many lives to get that money. And drugs, since it's not natural to the body, if it's not cannabis or what we call Indian hemp, it may repel, so that means it will cause more harm to the body in the long run, so there can't be any progress. So if there can't be any progress, what does that mean? What this mean? It only means instead of moving forward, we are going backward. That's the way it is. If a leader isolates himself from the society, I don't know who is leading. He has become a deity. Instead of leading the people, the people he's supposed to serve is no longer serving them. He's serving only his own interests and maybe the political power that brought him into position. So the people, the majority of the people will suffer. A leader is supposed to be very compassionate and sensitive. He cannot afford to isolate himself from the people he's leading. You must lead with hope. Then you must use people as scapegoat. Because if you are leading and you cannot punish, if your laws are not effective, when people disobey them, there's no reprise there, there's no punishment. It's not a law. We call it a toothless bulldog. A toothless bulldog. If there's no security of life and property, how can there be progress? How can people have confidence? Nobody will want to invest in your country. Our forefathers never went abroad to look for investors or foreign investors. They came down to look for them because they had of their glory and their fame and their prosperity. If you do very well, you don't need to chase around the world looking for foreign investors. Do you didn't know here when Fela said so? Nigeria getting money. Foreign money for overseas, plenty, plenty. We have many money overseas because we're always collaborating with foreign people to loot our treasury at the expense of the common people. There's no reason why the poorest person in Nigeria should be poor. But because right from time memorial, we never had sincerity of purpose, trust and integrity in all those people who led us. And that is why we are suffering up to now. There must be guns, but guns are not supposed to be used to kill everybody. It's only removed as a deterrent to people, the criminal elements who are into kidnapping and nursery killing, and people who cause divide and rule and who cause mayhem, because they will always be quarreled over land disputes, lands. They will always be quarreled and fight over women and wine. And they will be quarreled and fight over political position because some people must lead anyhow. Question is this, for those of you who have been killing people because you want political position and power and money, are you not going to die? Are you going to live forever? Think about it.